Hey everyone, Reality Capture 1.4 has been released and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of some of the changes you will find with the latest release. First up, there is a brand new pricing and licensing model tailored for Reality Capture customers. Reality Capture is now free to use for students, educators, hobbyists and companies making under 1 million US dollars in gross annual revenue and can now be downloaded from the Epic Games launcher. If you go to the Capturing Reality website, the download button will now take you to this page with a link to download the Epic Games Launcher. After installation, when you click on the Unreal Engine section, you will see this toolbar. On the right hand side, you can find the Reality Capture tab where you'll be able to install and launch Reality Capture. If your company generates over 1 million US dollars in annual gross revenue, you'll be able to buy seats for Reality Capture on the developer portal. You can purchase individual seats of Reality Capture at $1,250 per person per year, or purchase it as part of the Unreal subscription along with Unreal Engine and Twinmotion for $1,850 per person per year. Go to dev.epicgames.com and access the dev portal by clicking this button at the top right of the screen. Then you'll need to create an organization. You can find Reality Capture in the Epic Tools section on the left, and in the drop down there will be an option to buy seats after carefully reviewing and agreeing to the end user license agreement. Once you have purchased seats, you can allocate them to members of your organization. To add members, go to Organization and Invite New, then type in their email address. You will also have an option to allocate a seat for the member when you send the invite by checking this box. Once the member has accepted the invitation, you should be able to see them in your organization. When you go back to your Reality Capture seats, you can now allocate a seat for the member. On launching Reality Capture 1.4, activation is no longer required. If you have old PPI projects, you can unlock them in 1.4, so you can then add more inputs without being charged. When you save, you will have the option to unlock the project. Save As will automatically unlock the project, and we also have a new command, Unlock PPI Project, after which you should add a string for the path to the PPI project you wish to unlock.